Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that today is only the second day of February and I am filming my what's sold for the second half of January. It's gotta be a record for me to be this close to when that actually just passed. So uh, we're gonna go through my sales and I did the first half of January sales obviously a couple of weeks ago and January started out a little on the slow side for me but I just got to work. I really didn't list much during the month of December, not even the first week or so of January, but I've kind of gotten back into a routine. And I have to tell you that the relist delist option on Posture VA has been amazing. So if you're not using Posture VA, I have a code, save you some money, give it a try. You actually don't have to put any information in. I believe you get two weeks totally free. Like all you have to do is just click on the link anyway. I have been selling a lot of older inventory, which is fantastic. So we're going to go through my sales from Mercari, Poshmark, Kitizen, and I had one eBay sale and it was a great one. I'm not really cross posting to eBay yet, but seeing this sale, this happened so quickly. I, you'll see why I posted it on eBay specifically, but we do plan to add that back in. We, as in my better, cuter half, who's not here today, once our construction's done, because he is the project manager for that, and he's getting ready to start laying floors, painting, he's going to be quite busy for the next probably two months. But after that, he's going to start taking charge of eBay for me. Four platforms is just too much for this girl when this is just my part-time gig. So let's jump in. I'm so excited to share with you guys the second half of January proved to be See, look, there's my posture VA working right now. It proved to be quite awesome. So we are going to start with Mercari and didn't have a lot of sales on Mercari, but posh, you'll see. Okay, so I'm going to tell you where the item came from and what I paid and what it sold for. This is a pair of Club Pilates leggings. A Club Pilates, if you're not familiar, is a franchise and it is similar to like the Orange Theory and places like that. So um, I was doing Club Pilates for just over a year had an injury, stopped going, bought a Peloton instead, and that's working out better. So people that go there like to have their branded stuff and it is expensive. I actually bought these for myself over on Mercari originally, and I think I wore them once, but so I had $9 into it. I did record that cost of goods. These sold for my full asking price of $32 plus shipping. I do not offer free shipping. This North Face men's zip up jacket came from the bins. And I was so glad I forgot to change the shipping on this one to UPS. I do that sure post, smart post is FedEx. I don't do that. I do the UPS one, but this one was still the $12 priority. And I was really glad because it was freezing cold that day and I did not want to have to leave my house. So I was able just to pop it in my mailbox. And the next, this is a pair of Jamboree shirts. These were my son's, a personal item. They sold for $14. This Jojo Seawall romper, also a personal item that I bought over off Kitizen last year for my daughter to wear to her big sister's birthday party. Um, so I need to go back in actually and record what I paid. I want to say I spent about $10 on it. It sold for $14. This Matilda Jane long sleeve shirt, a shirt of my daughter's, sold for $14. These Piccolino wedges I picked up at Goodwill for $6.95. They sold for $47. This Mud Pie Giraffe Swim Trunks. I did these in a recent thread up outlet haul. I actually got some things listed from that. So I had $5.01. I averaged my cost of goods for that entire haul. I know these cost a lot less than that, but that just works out for me for record keeping. They sold for $12. This Papa 2 floral little baby dress, it was like an 18 months. That came in a thread up kids 50 pound bulk box. So I had 59 cents sold for 16. You guys hear me say strawberries sell. This was my daughter's personal little strawberry dress, genuine kids, and it sold for $13. These Tory Burch nude patent leather, what are they, flats? Yes. This was my first time ever finding a Tory Burch in the wild. I was really excited about it. They had one little scuff, but my husband worked his magic and got them out. And so I had $7.49 into these. I did pick them up on a half off day. So my Goodwill did have them marked at $15 originally, but they sold for my full asking price of $68 within a day of listing. 
All right, we're gonna jump over to Kizen. Y'all know this brand. Um, also, sorry about the lighting. It's like super sunny and then not, and I did not set up any of my lights today. My hair is drying naturally. I'm getting ready to go out of town for a few days and whew, just trying to get this done for you guys. All right, these mini Melissa's were my daughters and they sold for $34.15, my full asking price. This Columbia zip up fleece jacket baby bundle. These I have $2 into. They had a dollar into each of them from a local thrift and they sold for $35.15. Also my full asking price. I did list these together and a little bit less because they needed some serious lint rolling. I, my, my little guys were not working. All right. This Zara girl's dress. When I did my recent, if you did not watch the video, I cleaned out my little girl's closets. I listed some, took a lot to buy, sell, trade. I listed this one and it sold within the first day I listed it. So it was just a personal dress. So I had nothing into it. We've had it for a while. Sold for $16.15. These Adidas sneakers I picked up at a local thrift for $4.89. I thought they would come a little cleaner in the washer. They did not but they still sold for $23.15. Almost all of my sales on KID for the month of January were full price sales on KID and you can't send offers to people unless they put the item in their cart. So this Alice and Ames, I also do not offer free shipping on KID anymore. It just works better for me. This skirted leotard uh, was a personal item of my daughter's. Um, the mom was super sweet, asked me a couple questions. I sent her a picture of my daughter wearing it just so she could see the fit. This is a small shop brand similar to like Remy Girl, and I've never found it out thrifting. I originally purchased this off Kitizen, and she was very happy with her purchase, and I gave her $24 in free shipping. It's not free, but it was $4.15 to ship. Okay, this was a bundle that went out to the sweetest viewer. She sent me a little note. Uh, this was a Vans, a Disney and Vans black t-shirt. I picked that up also recently from the Thread Up outlet for $5.01. These Harley board shorts, I have that they're a personal item and I have nothing into them, even though I know I just bought them last summer for my son. He did not like that they didn't have, I thought he's 10, right? And I thought maybe he would want board shorts that don't have that mesh inside. No, ma'am. He was like, they're too low. I don't like them. He's very particular. So I don't believe we ever even wore those. So I sent her an offer. And this is why I, this is why I choose not to do free shipping on Kitizen. Just to show you guys, I have this on the order view instead of the item because it was a bundle. But you see the shipping total would have been $8.30 because they were each under eight ounces. So when you have your shipping separated, meaning it doesn't show up as free, I knew that I could still ship these for that eight ounce label. So right off the gate, I knew I could give her a discount of $4.15. And then I gave her an additional discount. So I made it an even $30. And then I bought my label and then the kid is in fee. So I made a profit of $22.25. But if it was free shipping, it would have just shown that the total was $31. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm able to give my buyers a better deal because I can give them exact shipping discounts where when I buy on Kitizen, a lot of shops offer free shipping and they might have a dress listed at $30 and free shipping. And they'll send me, and I'll have two things in my cart. They'll send me an offer of like $2 off where I know they're going to save at least $4 and 15 cents by only having to purchase one label. So I feel like it works in the best interest of buyers and sellers to not offer free shipping over there. My little, soapbox. Okay. This Hannah Anderson sweatshirt, I picked up retail, retail arbitrage for $8 and it sold for $30. All right. Here, you ready for it? Here's my one eBay sale. This is a Disney parks wishable. You guys, this is about this big. Okay. They're, I think they're four inches tall, something like that, but these are very highly collectible and they come in blind bags. I think there's five in each little collection. One of them they sell on the rack where you know what it is. The rest of them, you have to purchase these blind bags and hope to get different ones. A lot of people do unboxings here on YouTube. Uh, there's Facebook groups dedicated to trading them. Well, I guess this little alien was really hard to find. And I have also sold a couple other ones just this week. And I've sold those all for 10 and $12. So if you have any collectible type items, always check comps because if I just typed in Disney wishable, you will see that most of them are going in that 10 to $12 plus shipping mark. Not this guy. He sold for my full asking price of $68 plus shipping. Then he actually lived in this like 
30 minutes from my house. The shipping was only, even though I put, I, so this guy, I'm like, oh my gosh, he was like $79 all in. And so he was in his own little clear bag. And then I bubble wrapped him and then I tissue papered him to shove him into a box and it was still under eight ounces. And I, I spent, it was like $3 and 45 cents on the label. So an amazing sale. And did I tell you, I had 25 cents into this guy from a local sale where I picked up several of them. He's the only one I have that was worth more than the $10. And you guys, I had him sitting in my death pile for a year because I never looked him up. So thank you, eBay. All right, and now for Poshmark. Thank goodness these dance go sandals. Sometimes we get brand blinded. I picked these up when I decided to really start focusing more on women's items than kids. And I was like, oh my gosh, I found dance goes. All the resellers talk about this brand, not this style, y'all. I do not recommend picking these up. These took like two years to sell and they finally sold on an offer. I had $8 into them and they sold for $40. These Under Armour sneakers, these were a personal item. So I had nothing into them. They had a paint stain on them. They were not in the best shape cosmetically. Structurally, they were fantastic and they sold for $10. These Bionics, I picked these up at, where did I get them? From Plato's Closet, actually. I thought it was strange that Plato's would have had Bionics, but they were brand new. They still had the stuffing in them, you can see, and they were still all nicely wrapped up. I did pay $22 for those. I had a trade in, so I really paid nothing out of pocket that day. And they sold for $65. These little Converse, I did have $8.50 into these. I picked these up at a Once Upon a Child. They were so cute. They were baby size four. They were brand new with the tag and they had mermaids on them. Great sale at $29. These Saltwater, this is a great brand to look out for. I find these often if you're living somewhere like I do in Florida or maybe anywhere else that has a lot of sunshine and you find a lot of sandals, keep your eye out for these. The brand is Sun Sand Hoy. Uh, they, they are also known as Salts. And here's the brand a little bit better. These are the Sun Sand Surfer style. They've got the Sweethearts where they're kind of little heart cutouts. But anyway, these will always sell even if they're not in the best condition. These came in a thread up kids shoe box. So I had $5 and 39 cents into them and they sold for $21. This Disney parks tea I did purchase off of swap.com for $7 and 79 cents. I bought this for myself, not realizing it was a crop top, not my jam. It sold for $20. These little kids Birkenstocks. I picked these up at once upon a child for $4 and five cents. They sold for 25. These blue lemon royal blue leggings, I did pay $5.99 for at my local Goodwill. And I was willing to do that only because they were, they're not the newest tag because the newer ones have more numbers. But since it did have the numbers around, I knew it was a newish, I think 2018-ish style. And they sold for $30. I've definitely become more selective with, with what Lululemon I'm picking up. This Yo Baby dress, I had $2 into from a local Goodwill. It only sold for $11, but that's because I sent out a 30% off sale on, I think I did, I sorted my shirt. This is the cool thing about Posture VA is you can sort your shop by category. I think I did kids items under $25, and then you can send offers to like bulk offers to likers based on just what's showing on your screen, like uh, on your page. It doesn't go out to every, everybody on everything. I did it for kids clothing and then I also did it for coats and jackets. You'll see I made some sales of those. I love it. Posture VA has been just amazing. The Relist D-List, it shares my closet for me all day. Every three hours, I do nothing. I have not shared my closet in months. Have I mentioned how much I love it? And it's like less than a dollar a day, you guys. Best money ever spent and a tax write-off. So anyway, this sold for $11. So I still made a profit of $4.55, but I have had this forever. All right, this vintage Cabbage Patch doll. This came from Goodwill. I say that I have a dollar into it, even though I know I had a little less. I like to buy, if you, if you watch all the videos on my channel, I've done a couple unboxings with my daughter. I buy the big, my Goodwill puts stuffed animals into the comforter bags, like those clear bags you get when you buy a comforter, and they price it at like $5. And so I always look and see if I see any Disney items, or I thought for sure a Cabbage Patch doll would sell. Y'all have had this forever, so. I would suggest not to pick up Cabbage Patch dolls. I have finally sold off the three that I had, but this one was cool. It was from the 1982. It even had an old school baby diaper on it, which it was kind of falling apart, but it was so cool. It had the original clothes. So it 
uh, this person sent me an offer of $15. Actually, I think I sent them a 30% off offer and they countered even lower. And I was like, yes, please, please take this from me. So I still made a profit of $11. So definitely check out these stuffed animals. I mean, as you can see, my best, one of my best sales I've shown you was a tiny little plushie. All right, these Columbia snow pants, thank goodness these sold. I told you I live in Florida. I don't know anything about snow pants. I picked these up at the bins, like my first ever bins trip. And they were so, they took up a lot of room and they finally sold for seven, or I have 75 cents into them. They sold for $35. These Jack Rogers block wedges came in a recent thread up shoe box. I had $5 and 30 cents into them. They sold for 40. Low rise, y'all, I heard it's making a comeback. These Hollister low rise shorts came in a thread up 200 pound bulk mystery box for $1.47. They sold for 17. These little baby Converse came in a thread up kids shoe box. They were so cute. They were toddler size four and at $5.40 into them, they sold for 15. This 2XU recovery compression flex arm. I don't even know what this was. I guess you put it on after you work out. This came in a thread up fun box. So I had $2 and 19 cents and they sold for $27 and they were new in the package, but they had someone's name written on the box. The box was a little crunched. They left me great feedback and it was super easy to list. This frozen toy bundle. These are just personal items that we had just kind of literally, I cleaned out my kids. Um, we have like a gift box bin for when we get invited to birthday parties. And so I had nothing into it, sold for 12 bucks, made profit of $7 and 55 cents and cleared out some junk. These Vionics were not the best buy. I, I picked them up at Goodwill for $7.99, which would be great, but I didn't notice until I got home that typical of this brand always look, I don't know if you can see my mouse, right here in the corner, they start to crack sometimes and peel a little bit. So that's what happened to these. Uh, it is very typical of the brand because I have a lot of Vionics for personal use. So just make sure you're checking that before picking them up. They still sold for $22. So I still made a net profit of $8 and 11 cents, but I could have gotten closer to the $40 mark if they did not have that flaw. I know there is controversy about using stock photos, but y'all look at this picture. I like taking a picture of the skirt. I tried everything, hanging it up. It just like hung to, you couldn't tell it was a high low. So I was very happy to find the stock photo of this Chico skirt. I have had this forever. I sold it for a family member. So I had nothing into it and it sold for $24. This cut from the cloth denim jacket came in a thread up 200 pound mystery box for $1.31. It sold for 30. I went back and forth with this buyer. She sent she I started with like a really low offer and I countered and she countered. I usually don't play the whole countering game, but I checked comps three different times and I knew I could get closer to the $30 mark, if not a little higher. So I finally let it go for 30 and she left me great feedback. So sometimes it does pay to counter when you know the worth of your item. This children's place puffer vest. I have nothing into this. It's a personal item. Um, I couldn't find my email. Honestly, I would have put my cost of goods. My son broke his arm last winter and I bought him a, bu a bunch of, he couldn't get his arm to fit through because it was a whole cast. It was a whole thing, <laughs> but this was huge on him. Um, so it's, I sold it for 20 bucks and I'm fairly certain I made all of my money back. These little Skechers sneakers came in a thread up kids shoebox for $4 and 98 cents. They sold for 13. I love Crocs. I actually picked these up on Poshmark. I bought a whole bundle from somebody and um, this was just included in that bundle. So I broke out the cost of goods. It's $5 and 46 cents and they sold for 15. So basically I bought a bundle of five or six items because I wanted two of those items for my own kid and I've sold off all of the other items now. So I got what I wanted for three. These mini Melissa's, they were, let's see, these were a personal item. This mom also asked me a whole bunch of questions and, you know, I just felt like answering questions that day and it resulted in a sale. They sold for $17. These are the ones, if you watch the video, I guess that video hasn't come out yet, but just a reminder, if you don't watch my next video about kids shoes, these zigzags are known to have tears in them. So make sure you run your fingers along the edges just to make sure there's no tears before you pick them up. These look like not comfortable, but these are probably my daughter, both of my daughter's favorite styles of mini Melissa's, they always sell the fastest because the rubber is so soft, even though they look like those hard jellies that me as an 80s kid wore, not the same. 
All right, this Nike, this was from one of my very first bins trips where I was just like so excited to find name brand things. I'd never been to a bins before. So I bought a lot of stuff that I would not buy today. Uh, I had 78 cents into this. I've had it listed forever. I just got it. It was Nike. I'm oh, a Nike golf polo. It was Royal Caribbean. I, this was bought, I think, before the pandemic. So people were still cruising. I don't know. I finally let it go for $13. Thank goodness. These Finks underwear, I actually picked up from the Unclaimed Baggage website. I knew, I know that they sell for a lot because I do purchase these for myself. And I had $16.58 into them. They sold for $55. So I made a profit of $26 on these, which was great. These, also another thing, I still, this is what I'm telling you, because I used the relist and delist option, I know many, maybe before many of you guys are still doing this, copying and pasting your, or on Poshmark, it's pretty easy. You can click the copy button. But if you're selling on Mercari and Kitizen, you're relisting items, you're screenshotting, it's a whole thing. You literally click a button and I do 60 days and I, only, I do 20 items a day. So every morning I get my copy, I sit down, I go into Posture VA and I have it relist, delist, and I choose items older than 60 days, 20 items and go. And I drink my coffee, I open up another tab in front of it, scroll Facebook, and it's literally relisting and delisting my items for me. This was one that the day it relisted, I had had them listed for a while. Uh, they sold. So these I had $6 into from a thread up shoe rescue box. They were like, a, they're called, the brand was Shoe Dazzle, which I think is like a subscription box. They sold for $16. So even with the higher cost of goods, I still doubled my money. These American Eagle floor and border, or blah, 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 blah. Floral embroidered shorts. I can't speak today. I did pick these up at the bins for 75 cents. They were only a size zero, but I thought they were so pretty and they sold for $17. This Disney Parks on a costume was brand new with the tags. It was a personal item. I picked up a lot of these years ago in like every size. Uh, so I don't even remember at this point what I paid from a local sale and it sold for $25. These towels, red leather sandals, this is a great comfort brand to look out for. I rarely see them, but I had, I did pay up at $12.99 for these. I knew they would sell and they sold for $44. This motherhood maternity maroon new with the tags bra came in a thread up fun box for $3.11. Sold fairly quickly for $20. These Timberland boots, they came in a men's 100 pound, 100 pound or 50 pound? I can't remember which, and I didn't obviously take good enough notes, but these came in a men's thread up rescue box. They were actually brand new. They had a couple scuffs, which I noted just from being sore, but they'd never been worn before. So I had $3.43 into them. I did take an offer because they are not the newest model. They only have like the 200 instead of 400. I don't know, I don't live where it's super cold, but something about the thin slit lining. Anyway, they weren't the newest model, which is why I let them go for the price I did. But Timberland boots, they, they sell for a lot. Do you have a newer model? They sold for $80. These Ugg boots, do you ever have something that you're like, thank goodness this sold because you've gotten so many lowball offers? That was these boots. Uh, I had $9.99 into them and they were in great condition, especially I'm very picky with what Uggs I pick up myself. Like these showed hardly anywhere. So I was holding out. I knew the right buyer would come along. And funny enough, these sold to someone in South Florida. And I'm like, girl, I, they bought these on a day where it was freezing here. I think it was 35 degrees, which is so cold for us. I'm in Central Florida in Orlando. And so it just made me laugh that these also sold to a fellow Floridian. I made sure to get them out the same day. And they sold for $46, which I believe was my, I send 15% offers. Uh, the, the other thing my Posture VA does, I have it set to send offers to likers after 10 minutes of someone liking an item and I do 15% and just the one lowest shipping, like 5.95 shipping. That's what I do. Others do five minutes, 15 minutes. You can set it with whatever you'd like. You can do the 4.99 shipping, the 5.95 free shipping. I love it. It sends offers and all night long while I'm sleeping, I wake up to people accepting offers while I was sleeping in the middle of the night. All right, these Crocs Kids Loafers, they were size eight, nine. I did pick these up at Once Upon a Child. I had $6.50 into them. They sold for 17. This Kelly's Kids Vintage Gingham Bubble Romper, 
I picked this up at the bins for 78 cents. Anything that's vintage with smocking or embroidery, and this weighed like nothing. So I probably, I say that I had 78 cents into it. That's just because I average my cost of goods, but the bins is by weight. I probably paid like a quarter for this. It sold for $13. Remember we're on Posh, so they're paying that $7 in shipping. All right, this was a bundle of a vintage Winnie the Pooh dress. I had $1.49 into it, and these Steve Madden black leather loafers came in a thread-up shoebox. I had $5.30, so I basically had $6.79, and I accepted an offer of $30. These North Face boots, I did pay up at $15 for these at my local Goodwill. It took them a while to sell though. I was surprised. I bought them in the fall thinking they would sell for winter. They were snow boots. There weren't very many comps on this exact style. I don't know. They finally sold for $50. These are another thing. You know, I watched my friend Kathy over at Ginger Marvin. Um, I was friends with her like before she even started her YouTube channel, which I cannot believe the growth. I love their little dog and her husband is so sweet. Anyway, if you don't watch them, I'm sure you do. But she's always finding the Skechers, Shape Ups, Tone Ups, we here in Florida don't really find them because they crumble. We have the humidity. Anyways, I was finally so excited that I found them and they weren't even in good shape, you guys. I had no business picking these up. They were a mess, but they weren't crumbly. And I'm like, I have to get these. Like, look at how faded. It was bad. Like, should not have bought them. And I paid $3. They sold for 12. I still made $6.05, which I'm not going to complain about. But anyway, I would just so excited. Have you ever been so excited to find a brand? You're like, I have to have it, even though it's in the worst shape and I have no business picking it up. That's what happened here. But thankfully they still sold. All right. This was another one of these. Sometimes these sales just surprise you. These yoga socks came in a thread up 200 pound box. I had a dollar and 32 cents into it. They sold for seven bucks and then they paid $7 and 45 cents in shipping. But Hey, I have been known when I was doing Pilates to pay up for a brand that I really like. And they left me good feedback. All right, this, we are almost done. Thank you guys. I definitely lesson learned. I hope to have more sales in February that I need to be doing these weekly and not bi-weekly. The, this is a Kristen Blake wool jacket. It was very heavy. Happy it sold on Posh. I have a dollar and 32 cents into it. It also came in a thread up 200 pound box. It sold for $47. It was a wool cashmere blend coat. It was beautiful. I did have to spend, the reason I don't think it sold or maybe ThreadUp didn't take it is it had a lot of lint. So I hired out my mom, offered to cook her dinner, which I do anyway. <laughs> she lives next door. She lint rolled that for me and I got it posted and it sold. All right, this Disney Mickey Ears Sorcerer hat, I had 25 cents into from a local thrift, sold for $12. This Spiritual Gangster Pink Love New With The Tags tank, I had a dollar and 47 cents into it from a thread up 200 pound bulk box. This was in my, one of my first boxes. I got a lot of Spiritual Gangster stuff and this was the only thing I had hanging out still, but I guess Valentine's Day is coming. It sold for $28. Another sale that kind of surprised me. I really didn't, I almost didn't even push this over to Poshmark from Kittizen because it's just a Carter's little baby bib. I, I believe full price, these are $9.99. Anyway, so they paid full price $7 plus the $7.45 shipping. And this came out of my recent Thread Up Kids 50 pound bulk box. So I had 60 cents into it and I made a profit of $3 and 45 cents. And guys, like this took me two seconds to list. I took two photos. It was new with the tags, front, back, list. So. I was very happy to take my coffee money and run. Ufos, another brand I learned from Kathy, definitely one to pick up. This is the second time I have found them and they sell quickly and they sell for decent money. These were men size 13, women size 15. I'd never seen shoes actually have that written on them. They were in fantastic condition and I picked them up for $9.99 at a local Goodwill and they sold for $42. And my last sale of January was this, the original Muck Boot Company. These are great boots. My husband owns, like we buy these for him for working out in the yard. Uh, these were a kid size. I had $2.99 into them from a local Goodwill. They sold for $24 and they weren't even in the best shape. They had some general wear staining and it was a very fast sale. So that was my sales. I uh, had, let's see, 66 total sales the second half of the month, but I had, I don't know if that's correct, actually, the way my husband did this, but I, um, January was great. January was great for me. It 
was a little bit better than December. Oh, here, it's time to go uh, straighten this mess. Um, February is starting out pretty fantastic. So I'm really excited to increase my sales this month and do some couple of different types of videos for you guys. And I am going to go finish packing. Anyone else pack literally an hour before you have to leave? That's this girl. Every time I'm planning a trip somewhere, I'm like, I'm going to pack early. doesn't happen. It is noon and I'm leaving here at two o'clock and I have done nothing but take my shower. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Wishing you lots and lots of sales this week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.